Oh, the U.S. is expected to move one step closer to getting a COVID-19 vaccine to Americans. But first, we're going to get a better idea of the virus's impact on one southeast Texas county. Brittany Jeffers live at the Fort Bend County Courthouse this morning. Brittany? Yeah, as you just mentioned, these communities closely monitoring the coronavirus cases that we're seeing. And today we do expect to get a risk level update from not only the Fort Bend County judge, but also representatives from the Health and Human Services Department. And nationally, tomorrow uh, is a very big day. We're going to be hearing from the FDA Advisory Committee discussing the Pfizer vaccine. A green light for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine could be coming soon. A 53-page briefing document was released ahead of Thursday's FDA advisory meeting. And in it, the FDA says data suggests the vaccine looks promising. A committee chair on the advisory panel, Dr. Arnold Monto, agrees with the findings. These things will be available and totally transparent so the public has no question about whether the vaccines are safe and effective. Alongside other governors, Governor Greg Abbott discussed vaccine distribution and rollout plans for Texas at the White House summit yesterday. And over the past month, we have already uh, signed up more than 7,200 providers in the state of Texas that are awaiting for these vaccines as we speak right now, ready to make sure that we do put needles in arms within 24 to 48 hours uh, as soon as we get those vaccines. Governor Abbott adding in a tweet that quote, in Texas, vaccines are always voluntary, never forced. In the United Kingdom, where it's already been approved, a British grandmother was the first to roll up her sleeve to receive the Pfizer vaccine. And as the U.S. inches closer to vaccine approval, health experts caution it could be a difficult winter. We're getting those staggering numbers of new cases and hospitalizations before we even feel the full brunt of the Thanksgiving holiday. Dr. Anthony Fauci recommending that people who have recovered from COVID-19 should still plan to get vaccinated once shots become available because it's not yet clear how long immunity to getting infected lasts. Now, something else that's important to note this morning, another COVID-19 vaccine front runner, the Oxford University and AstraZeneca is now the first to have its phase three trials uh, published in a clinical uh, review here. This is a peer review journal and peer review data is something that experts say that they have been waiting to see. So that's a big development. Reporting live here in Richmond, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you.